Alright guys, I want to thank 1414 Falcon Fan for providing a post on Instagram about these. Then we have, of course, promo bricks as you can see here. So let's get into the names right away. So once again, credit to both 1414 Falcon Fan plus promo bricks for these set names. So we have Ninja Dragon Temple for plus. $40. That is pretty expensive for a 4 plus set. It better be pretty good. Then we have Jay's Golden Dragon Motorbike. $20. Then we have Cole's Dragon Cruiser. $40. Zane's Golden Dragon Raider. $30. Dark Temple. $80. The Crystal King, which is apparently something from an old Lego theme called Power Miners. $70. Kai's Golden Dragon Raider. $90. Golden Dragon. What expensive Golden Dragon, in fact. $140. Samurai X Mech. I wonder if that's a legacy set. $120. So that must be like one of the mechs that we got, like the size of the first Titan mech set, you know, where the original Nia Samurai X mech got possessed by a ghost. So it must be the one that was that size, the normal one. 12. This is very interesting because all of them have something to do with gold. Now, yeah, we did get the golden legacy figures back last year. I think this does have to do with Lloyd's powers. The Crystal King is very interesting to me. So, I can't wait to see what this is all about. Maybe they all get golden power. That would be cool. That would be something to have as a uh, season. So, yeah, I'm very interested to see what this is. This is definitely connected to a season of the show. Probably season 15 to have to do with Seabound. Or season 16. Because... The island was 14, Seabound was 15, this one had to be 16, I would believe, so. But, yeah. Like I said, this is very interesting to me. Does this mean they're all getting golden power and will use it on their vehicles? That'd be cool. If you have enjoyed this video, then please comment, like, and then you can subscribe. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. Also, please go check out Promo Bricks plus 1414 Falcon Fan. Also, I really wasn't expecting this today.